2021 is an environmental charity that gets people involved in looking after their local waterway area. Uh, people get involved in clearing litter, in creating new habitat for wildlife, creating new wetland areas so that we can clean road runoff before it enters the waterways. Uh, we run educational activities for schools. It's a range of really practical activities that engage local communities in areas across London with their local river. Thames 21 came about uh, because local Londoners were getting very worried about all the rubbish and litter in the River Thames. A pilot project was run to see if it would be possible to involve Londoners in volunteering to clear away the litter. So we tested it out and it proved a massive success with thousands of people across London volunteering to help clean up the tidal Thames. And from there people moved on to getting involved in other projects and other activities on the river. So Thames 21 is really keen on seeing lots of sustainable drainage systems because there's a lot of problems with water quality in our urban areas. This is because of pollutants washing off roads and also in, unfortunately some people's household plumbing is misconnected so they connect foul appliances up to the surface water drain and that also ends up in our, in our rivers. And these sustainable drainage systems can combat that by removing pollutants, filtering them out, slowing the water down as well so they're also good for flooding. And we want to see lots more of these across London. Apart from the, the general cleaning of the river, then we've been doing a lot of work on altering the structure of the river and the flow of the river, like the berm you can see by the side of you, uh, putting in flow deflectors, and just generally making the environment better for all the plant life and animal life that use the, that use the river. It takes what was scrub land covered with brambles and of no interest to something which is now of interest you now have a chance to see double or three times the number of birds that would have been in this area. There's a chance of frogs and toads which were not possible before we started work. Generally it's just a much more interesting area for wildlife and for humans. Our volunteers are key to Thames 21. Without them we can cover the amount of waterways that we cover. With a smallish team within Thames 21 the volunteers are our bigger picture. We have numerous events running throughout the week and those events can be running by our volunteer groups without a Thames 21 member of staff being there. I've definitely seen that it just takes one person to have that domino effect um, and make a massive, massive difference. I just love being by the water. So, so, uh, and I think I'm one of many people. I'd certainly encourage people to volunteer with Thames 21. I think um, it's an amazing day out you get such a sense of fulfilment and you also get to meet great people. I think what stands out for me is the range of people who want to get involved. It's people aged eight years old, it's people aged 80 years old and they're all helping out to clean up and look after their local river. It's postmen, it's students, it's city workers, all working together, all with the same goal and all happy to get on and, and do something about our waterways. I, I, not, I don't think any of us believed when Thames 21 started that we'd be still going strong after 10 years. But we obviously respond to a, a particular need and of doing something which other people don't do nearly as well. I can see where we're going in, in terms of really trying to empower local people to take that active role in their local rivers, making sure they're clean, reporting incidences, really just managing the rivers, because there's no one else there really doing that.